Booth's algorithm. It's used for the multiplication of two signed binary numbers. There are few conditions that we have to keep in mind before starting off with the steps. Consider a 4-bit binary number Q. Its end bit becomes Q0 and the bit previous to it is Q-1. Considering various values of Q0 and Q-1, we have these cases under the conditions. In the first case, Q0 and Q-1 are equal. They are either 00, 0 or 11. In such a case, we perform only shifting right operation. In the second case, when Q0 is 0, Q-1 is 1, we perform A plus M. We'll see later what is A and M. We perform A plus M and then store the result in A, then shift. In the third case, Q0 is 1 and Q-1 is 0. In such a case, we perform A minus M, store the result in A and then shift. For the sake of an example, let me consider multiplication of 7 and 3. Let 7 be M, whose binary equivalent is 0, 1, 1, 1. 3 is Q, whose equivalent binary form is 0, 0, 1, 1. By the common knowledge of multiplication, I know that the answer have to be 21, whose binary equivalent is 16 plus 4 plus 1, 21. So, by the end of the fourth step, my answer have to match this 10101. A stands for accumulator whose initial value is 0000. It keeps changing after each step. Let's start off with the steps. We need a table having A, Q and Q minus 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. Q is 3 whose value was 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. Q minus 1 is initially 0. We need to compare the Q0 bit and Q minus 1 bit. So it's 1 and 0. When it's 1 and 0, I need to perform A minus M operation. So for the first step, I need to perform A minus M. We can either subtract M from A or we can add the 2's complement of M to A. So let me find out the 2's complement of M. M is 0, 1, 1, 1. Its 1's complement is 1, 0, 0, 0. And by adding 1 to the 1's complement, I get 2's complement of M. That is 1, 0, 0, 1. So I add the 2's complement of M to A. So I get 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the new value of A. 1, 0, 0, 1. And Q remains the same. Q minus 1 is also the same. 0. So now I need to perform right shift operation. This goes here. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 1. So for the second step, the status is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 1. I see that 1 and 1 are equal, so I just shift right. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 and 1. So that gets me to the third step. It's 1, 1, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 0, 0 and 1. Here we see that it's 0 and 1. In such a case, we need to perform A plus M. The current A value is 1, 1, 1, 0 and M is as usual, it's 0, 1, 1, 1. I add these two, I get 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. It's 1 plus carry 1, it's 0 plus carry 1. So this is the new value of A, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 0 and 1. Shifting it right, I get 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 0. So for the fourth step, the status is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 0. 0 and 0 are equal, so I need to perform only shift right operation. That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. At the end of fourth step, combining A and Q will be the final answer. 0, 0, 0, 1, 
zero one zero one is the final answer that I have got by the end of the fourth step. Previously, I had found out that the binary equivalent of twenty one is one zero one zero one. So this is exactly equal, but it's in the eight bit form, which is the binary equivalent of twenty one. So I get seven into three is equal to zero 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 one. 0101 is the product that I have got by performing Booth's algorithm.